Good morning! So today I want to show you my all-time favorite glutes and hamstring workout. This workout grew my glutes so much and I have the best pump afterwards. I absolutely love it. It's only five, only, only five exercises but the burn afterwards is so good and we love a short but effective workout. Made myself a toast as my pre-workout snack and I obviously also have my pre-workout because I I need some caffeine. I like to start every glutes and hamstring day with hip thrusts. The reason why I always did it as my first exercise is because I wanted to have my heaviest lift on my hip thrusts. So if you have an exercise where you want to lift your abs of heaviest, maybe deadlifts or squats, whatever exercise it is, you need to do this exercise first because that's when you have the most energy. So that was the reason why I always started my workout with hip thrusts. I would say at the moment it's more because I really, really do hate hip thrusts and I am glad when it's over. <laughs> I do not like leg days but when my hip thrusts are done I am a more calm person and I'm always, I'm always so glad when the hip thrusts are done out of the way next exercise i'm doing them on the smith machine today and the reason is i started doing them on the smith machine because i didn't have a lot of time in the morning because i was going to the gym before work and setting up hip thrust with the barbell excuse me sir can you, can you lay down? Takes a lot of time and honestly I just became lazy and now I kind of do prefer the Smith machine because the setup is just so much easier. All you need is a bench and then putting on your plates and at the end of the day it is the same exercise and it still burns in your glutes. My gym has a hip thrust machine and I personally hate it. I tried it I think two times and every time this belt hurt so much on my hip i don't know what i was doing wrong but i'm i'm not willing to try it anymore <laughs> if you do prefer doing them with the barbell and you are very short like me and you only have this very high benches i have other videos where i show you how i set up for my hip thrust if you are very short also when it comes to the smith machine and i only have this very high bench i was struggling to figure out how to start the movement because i'm very short and the bench is just way too high there are two options you can do on the smith machine one thing is you can use a plate to sit onto the plate so that you're higher up or what I like to do is I just start with my shoulder blades on the bench and then just lift it up that's the easiest way I like to do maybe everyone does it like this and no one thinks about it but I do think about it and I was struggling in the beginning okay maybe because I'm short maybe because I'm stupid I don't know when you're doing hip thrust make sure that you have a 90 degree angle with your feet pointing your toes a little bit outwards and also making sure that your chin is tucked and that you're not up in the air when you're squeezing on top and make sure that you squeeze on top of the movement because this is pretty much the hardest part of the entire movement squeeze for a moment i usually like to do one warm-up set and just see how i'm feeling that day and then increase my weights especially with hip thrust and especially on a smith machine i like to go until failure because you know nothing can happen you can't hurt yourself so pretty much go until i cannot lift the bar up anymore and then i'm like okay Done. Next we have a barbell RDL. I personally do prefer the barbell when I'm doing RDLs but I also like to switch it sometimes for dumbbells but I feel like when I do it with the barbell I can do more weight and I feel like I can just hold it better than two dumbbells. Probably do it 90% with the barbell and then sometimes when I'm like I'm feeling like doing it with dumbbell today then I'm switching it. <laughs> I always 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 use lifting straps you don't have to if your grip strength is strong enough I envy you but my grip strength is so bad I used to always feel bad for using them but now I just accept it because without the lifting straps I just cannot lift the weight that I can lift you know because my grip strength is just so weak I highly recommend using them if all you can focus on is how you hold it and it's like almost falling out of your hand the same goes for all the other movements like barbell rows lat pull down any exercise where you feel like you could lift more but you just cannot hold it with your hand you know what I mean? If you're struggling with RDLs, I would start by only using the barbell and work your way up with the weights. Start by pushing your hips back. I always imagine like being pulled back. You can also do this standing against the wall with dumbbells to get used to the 
motion. I also like to focus on my heels, like having this pull in your heels. You can also remove your shoes if you feel like you have a better stance on the floor. I don't like to go very low with my RDLs because I feel like when I go too low, I always can feel my lower back, then I can feel it's taking over and I want to feel it in my glutes and not in my lower back. Biggest tip for the glutes with RDLs is to really slow down the movement, really feel the movement and when you are down, make sure to pull up with your glutes again. This is for me the biggest game changer when doing RDLs. I usually like to do three sets for eight reps and I start off with a little bit of a lighter, lighter, I would say moderate weight. It's not a light weight. For me, a moderate weight and then I like to go heavy. <laughs> Next exercise is Bulgarian split squats, which I honestly also really don't like. Sorry for the bad lighting and sorry for the angle. I just couldn't make the lighting and the angle work. I don't know what was happening. Bulgarian split squats. I always used to do them with one dumbbell. Now I like to say it's a weird dumbbell. Now I like to use two dumbbells and for the past few weeks I was actually doing my Bulgarian split squats on the Smith machine as well. And let me tell you, I am torn. I'm not sure what I prefer. I've always done it with dumbbells tried it with the barbell once never again absolutely hated it but with the smith machine i really liked it what i really liked about the smith machine is that you don't need so much stability and you can really focus on a movement i can also take more weight on a smith machine than i can with the dumbbells which i really like but then i was like i want to try with the dumbbells again and honestly i'm not sure i'm not sure if i like it i could really feel that my stability wasn't as good. I have to focus more on balancing. I cannot take as much weight, which I know weight doesn't measure anything. What I don't like about the dumbbells is that you always have to focus on holding. Even when using the lifting straps, I still feel like it's harder when you have to hold something in your hands than having the barbell on top of your shoulders. I'm not sure if I have a better stretch and a better glute burn when I'm doing it on the Smith machine or when I'm doing it with the dumbbells. Maybe I just need to switch it up every couple of weeks. Do you have a preferred way of doing it like Smith machine or dumbbells? Very important, not just for the Bulgarian split squats, but pretty much for every single leg exercise is to always start with your weaker leg. I didn't do this for the longest time because I didn't realize that it was the better option. I was always starting off with a strong leg because I wanted to have at least one good leg. When you start with a stronger leg, you have one good leg and then the second leg is really, really, really struggling. But if you start with the weaker leg, the exercise feels fine. And since the other leg, the second leg is the stronger leg, the exercise still feels fine, even if not still easier than the weaker leg. Always focus on pushing with the working leg and what I also like to do is really focus on the stretch in my glutes, the burn in my glutes and not just going up and down with the movement and not really feeling it in my glutes at all. Then for the last exercises I like to do a superset and this is my all-time favorite superset on my glutes and hamstring day which is lying hamstring curls and hyperextensions. If you don't want to do the lying hamstring curls you can also do them seated. What I like to do with this movement is to really push my hips into the machine making sure that my hips are not just swinging around just because I want to lift a heavier weight really making sure to push it onto the machine and then when you are at the top of the movement make sure to hold it for a second like for just just for a moment and then going back down. I really, really love the burn in my hamstrings and it's gonna burn even more when you're doing the hyperextension right after. When it comes to the hyperextensions, you can do them for your glutes and for your back. I'm never sure how far you should go up for either of them, so I just do them until I feel the most burn in my glutes and then go back down again. For a more glute focused hyperextension, you can also arch your back, you know, be more like. I feel like if I go too far up, I can feel my back because it's also, you know, a back exercise. But yeah, also with this exercise, I really like to push my legs into the machine and making sure that I'm pulling through my hamstrings and through my glutes. I absolutely love this exercise. I love it so much. It burns every time. It burns so good. That was my best glutes and hamstring workout. I hope you enjoyed. I hope it was helpful. Please subscribe if you want to see more workout videos and food related videos and give the video a like if you enjoyed it. And other than that, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!